you know, while we want to do things with, with excellence, like at the end of the day, yeah, um, it's about people. You know, it's about family. It's about it's about life. Yeah, and um, so bringing that back into balance, because when it's not, you know, it can yeah. just you can end up in in a world of trouble in the process. Um, mm-hmm. But life is is pretty short, and you know, I think even Kobe's passing uh, has yeah. kind of been an alarm clock that's been ringing and waking a lot of us up reminding us, right. uh, like you have one go around in this life. <laughs> yeah. And so you really do and want to max it's out. So hard to grasp mm-hmm. still, you know, yeah. like, you know, you could tell that you could say the same thing to, to people every day. Yeah. Like you gone, like you, you know, you hmm. one time basically. Right. Yeah. And people still, I mean, I struggle with it too. Like I, take you take things for granted you take days off or you don't do something you put something off like it's i think it's really hard to switch your mind into something that like every single minute second counts yeah because like i'm it's ticking i'm running out of time regardless of when that clock does fall off the wall like it's it's always ticking isn't it so that's that's something i've struggled to with trying to realize have you kind of found the same thing too yeah i, I think i think it, when you're older you get used you get more into it right but when you're younger you're just like no what? Yeah, there's something about it too that's it's beautiful. Like when when you really think about what that can entail. Yeah. Um by that I mean that um okay, so like if if life is short and if you know that the clock is ticking, in a way it puts the pressure on. Mm-hmm. But in a way it also kind of takes a little bit of the pressure off because it reminds you like I'm one of many. Yeah. Like billions of people. And so for some reason, I'm fortunate enough to be breathing. For some reason, like I'm still here. Yeah. For some reason. And, and so, you know, as, as a believer, like I believe that, that that's just, you know, God giving me an opportunity uh, to continue to live and yeah. make, much of, make much of him in life, uh, love, love people hopefully really well. <laughs> yeah. Make an impact. Yeah. Um, but also like a reminder that at the end of the day, like I'm going to have just such a short window of time when I look back, sure. you know, I was hanging out with my grandparents during the, the holidays and you know, my, my grandpa, uh, I think he's 97 now, uh, world war two vet. And That's so, great. you know, yeah. he's, he, he is truly an incredible, um, but yeah, like life is short. And so it's like, even the moments I had with him, you know, when I was eight mm. and we, you know, we go outside and play and, and, you know, all of those Throw things a ball around, whatever it's it is, totally yeah. different now. Right. You know? And so, um, it's special. Mm-hmm. It's special. And so I, I hope that we, uh, make the most of, of even these kind of moments, right. you know, maybe microphones right here, but like, yeah. uh, I think as C.S. Lewis, he said, you're never talking to a mere mortal. Mm-hmm. Like you're talking to somebody <laughs> that has like eternal aspects to them. And it's just like, wow, yeah. that's incredible. Like just talking right, to just you thinking, right yeah. now, it's like, wow, this is significant. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it takes, you have to step back. Don't even really think about it and put yeah. it in and like, okay, like this, you know, cause if you don't, it's just like, mm. Oh, whatever. It's not no big deal. Yeah. You know, you're just punching a time clock. You're coming in, you're doing, you could be doing a podcast like we are now. And yeah, yeah. In an hour you're going to do, do something else. And it just all adds up and you don't even think about it. Yeah. When you get down to the real stuff, you're like, Oh, that, that could, that is a moment. That could mm. be a moment. Uh, and you know, and I'm sure you've had, you've met people yeah. the first time you sit down with someone, you know, or a mentor that you have now, you just sit with them and like, Oh, cool. You just had a coffee you have a chat and mm. you may not see what's going on bef- after that. But in 20, 30 years time, you look back on that moment you're like, Whoa, like that's when we first met each other. And now we have this huge like connection, yeah. and this huge like mentorship thing. And now we've all done this cool thing together. Mm. Like, no, you don't know that in the time, do you? But just having that awareness to realize that this actually could lead to something every every moment you meet someone could lead to something greater and impacting more lives and whether it's impacting just mm. one person or if it's speaking in front of 9000 and impacting yeah. 10 of those whatever it is like it yeah yeah it gets gets real when you start thinking about it for sure See, i uh, i started to wake up every morning and just realize that like today's a new day 
what am I going to do today to like, oh, that's beautiful. You know, like yesterday's gone yesterday. I've done what I've done yesterday. It doesn't matter now. You know, what do I do today that, that may be built on, built on from what I did yesterday, but also like, you know, new connection, a new day, a new opportunity is a great way to put it. Right. And you created something, I mean, even right, right here, mm -hmm. uh, this is Oklahoma like this. It, it is ironic you not oh, being so from ironic. here. Yeah, I think that's probably why people want me to do it is because they listen to me talk all the time. But the funny thing is I interview people. I don't talk. I let them speak Yeah, for the most part. But I mean, like, creating a podcast, Yeah, that's about stories. You're telling us in this that people matter. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's sometimes, like, the thing that we forget. I think sometimes people forget that they matter. Right. And it's like, no, like <laughs> you matter. I, I know I've, I've had plenty of times when I've rushed past people, when I've treated people like they didn't matter. Um, yeah. But I think in, in life, like one of the things that I really want to be about, and it, it's something you just talked about as, as well, is like, you know, life is, is opportunity filled. Mm -hmm. It's opportunity rich. Or sometimes like life is... Um, Life is all about a deficit mm -hmm. <laughs> and life is about um, kind of ever decreasing resources and ever decreasing hope. I just don't believe yeah. that. Yeah. Like there, there is a lot of pain and suffering. Um, and I've got some, some friends who have been through some things that are just the fact that they're still in the game is incredible. Yeah. I'll also say that life and the opportunity that they have to impact people is unbelievable mm -hmm. because when they show up after all of that pain, I mean, I, sometimes yeah. it's almost like when you've been through more, like you have a bigger resume for being used by, by 100%. God, by just having an impact in, in life. And, and I think like a lot of, a lot of people, uh, it creates in them an empathy that is right. It's unparalleled. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even, you know, you, you, there's so many people and people that we yeah. know who've gone through bad things and they've come out the right side of it. They've battled through it, mm. you know, and the, the light, you know, the things that they do now. And you're like, how are you the person you are because of all this? Like, yeah. How are you not like, you know, in jail or done something really bad because of your upbringing or, you know, just like, Sitting in sitting in your apartment somewhere, you know, just huddled up in a ball because of the things you've been through. Yeah, how are you able to walk out in front of a crowd or talk to people and impact people? Like that's it takes it's more to more for a person like that than it is for someone who's just gone cruise through life, right? That hasn't had any yeah. struggles. And I think a lot a lot of people who are successful, right, have mm -hmm. gone through really tough upbringings or really tough things in life. Mm -hmm. And it's finding like I try and I. I've been very fortunate. I've never really had something bad happen in my life. Yeah, I've moved to the States and it was miserable for me moving away from my home. But yeah. that's in the grand scheme of things, that's not hard. You know, like I haven't had any significant family mm. issues or whatever it is that's gone on. And I've, I would say I have kind of cruised. Mm. And I didn't realize that until four or five years ago. I'm like, I've never had like a serious like you know, hardship to go through, right? I never had mm. to grow and work through something. So I would try and find things that may, like, that are miserable to do every day. Not every single day, but like, I, re I Friday, by the time this goes out, I would have done it, but I signed up for a 31 mile ultra marathon last October. And you what? Yeah, exactly. Ultra marathon, 31 miles in Stillwater, it's f this Friday. Oh, it's this Friday. Yeah. And you're here. And I'm here. So it's in two days. So it'll, it'll, by the time we've this has gone out, hopefully I was survived and I would have ran. Way to go, miles. man. Talking about um, taking life by like, the horns. Wow. But that, I, was, that I had to find things that would push me out of my comfort zone to make me like do things that were uncomfortable to yeah. figure out how to grow. You know, it's there's no way you're going to simulate like the pain and suffering that someone has gone through with mm. like family or whatever it is or somebody dying. But I'm like, how can I go do that? That's equally, I, I mean, not equally, but I don't want to run 31 miles. I don't think anyone does. I'm not a runner. I play golf, but how can I push myself and figure out who I really am by putting myself in that position of this is going to be torture for 31 miles up and down the back roads of mm. Stillwater and, you know, the country or whatever. Yeah. So I'm, 
I'm worried after Friday's race to be like done next, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> done next. Next is uh, what, next is know? probably ice. Right. <laughs> next yeah, is maybe like, like a like a hot Iron tub yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah ice bath for sure. Yeah, but yeah. like you know, it's like done next. What do I do? But like oh, that was man. one thing that I that I was like, I need to get out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I need to like push myself to do whatever it is and find out who I really am by putting myself in that position. Mm. And I'm glad I realized that I might not be at the end of the race, <laughs> but let me know how that goes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that was one thing that I kind of would, as someone who has kind of cruised to now, mm. you know, it's, that was one thing that I was like, I need to go and find, I need to figure out who I am as a person and do that so I can grow. Yeah. Rather than just be, yeah, this is fine, this is great. So that when something, adversity does come up, I've gone through something like that. 